A day after Wasingishu Governor Jackson Mandago led area leaders in storming Moy University to protest the appointment of Professor Laban Ayiro as the university's vice chancellor in an acting capacity. Debates over the incident continue to divide public opinion. The action was primitive and should be co condemned by all and sundry. We demand that the NCIC follows up this matter further as it amounts uh, to total ethnic incitement which is dangerous to national cohesion and it's even worse as we are progressively moving to elections. Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi is standing his ground describing Professor Ayuro as the right man for the job. In dismissing his critiques, Dr. Matiangi says he made the appointment as provided for by the University Act 2012. This is a straightforward matter. It's covered by statute. I have followed the law to the letter. So let someone pull out the statute and tell me, Mr. Minister, you have held here. The education CS fell short of terming yesterday's incident by area politicians as ill-informed, saying that he is not ready to engage in tribal politics when it comes to management of the universities. The law does not allow me to do that in the first place and I am not one of them, so I cannot engage in the kind of conversation they have. Whatever they want to discuss and what they want to do, as long as it's not technical, it is not in my space. I can only deal with technical stuff uh, that is governed by the law, that is governed by statute. The statute is very clear. He spoke as the outgoing Moy University Vice Chancellor Professor Richard Mibay officially handed over the reins of power to Professor Ayiro. I want to thank the council for initiating the process of having me act as the Vice Chancellor of Moy University. And uh, I want to thank His Excellency the President through the Cabinet Secretary for giving me this opportunity to serve Moy University for the coming three months in an acting capacity. <laughs> Volatile as the situation may be, graduates are preparing for the graduation ceremony planned for this Friday amid tight security following reports that leaders from the region were planning to disrupt the university's 32nd graduation. For Channel 1 News R, I'm Brenda Zeda Radido.